Hello friends, welcome to this channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Fluent Bit, which is a LOX and Matrix processor tool. As we know, all applications need login, and the main use case for login is data analysis. Something breaks in the application, you check the logs to see what caused the error or you are trying to reproduce a bug and by looking at the application logs you can understand what happened or simply to simply to have an overview of what your application is doing right now logs can come from different places right logs are produced by applications but also server processes and so on so you have different sources of logs and fluent bit is actually a general purpose log processor meaning it can read and process logs from all these different sources but not that in addition to collecting logs fluent bit also has matrix collection capabilities for embedded linux system right for for example it can gather matrix on cpu memory storage etc and because it is it's a general purpose fluent bit can be deployed on any environment like like bare metal servers virtual machine embedded devices containers right however fluent bit is used the most for processing logs in kubernetes cluster so how does fluent bit works fluent bit uses input plugins to read the logs from the data sources for example if you need to read log files you need a plugin to read from log files if you are going to receive message over tcp you need an input plugin that listens for message over tcp and as mentioned at the beginning fluent bit supports many different input sources fluent bit also has input plugins for matrix data collection for example it supports states d and collect the input plugins but also supports collecting matrix on the host system cpu memory and disk also once logs are collected and read fluent bit will process them and of course depending on the log format we we would need to parse them differently for that fluent bit has different filters and parsers so filter can be used to change the log record or even add some additional metadata to it like like code id or namespace where the log is coming from and so on you can also use filters to drop or ignore some records to make the filtering even more flexible in fluent bits you can use custom lua scripts as filters to modify and process the records in addition to all of this one unique advanced feature that fluent bit has is sql stream processing this allows users to write sql query on the logs or matrix to do aggregation calculation even time series predictions this is very useful if you need to calculate an average max or mean before sending the data to the storage or count the number of the of times a message appears or aggregate data to reduce data cost the best part about the sql stream processing is that no database is required and no indices are required everything runs on the same lightweighted high performance process so you still keep that high performance and resource efficiency of fluent bit after the log are processed fluent bit will send them to a storage like elastic search or splunk where you can then see the logs in a nice visualized format Again, Fluent Bit supports many different storage backends, and to send the logs to the storage backends, Fluent Bit 
uses output plugin. So basically the input plugins knows how to transform the data of a specific format to what fluent bit can read and process. So for example, TCP input plugin knows how to parse TCP data into fluent bit data, right? An output plugin knows how to transform the fluent bit data into what the output target understands. So Elastic Search Output Plugins knows how to translate the fluent bit data into the format which Elastic Search can read and save. Okay, so that's it for this lecture. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. So if you have any doubt or any question, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.